Welcome to the Sheragesh Iron Ore Mine, operated by Evraz Rudak, a branch of Evraz ZSMK. These are mine workers. They are starting to descend from the surface to a depth of 518 meters. When the miners arrive at the level marked 115 meters, they get into a personnel carrier, which will take them to the work location. The multifunctional carrier has three replacement capsules that can be changed depending on the transportation requirements. A set of replacement capsules allows the carrier to transport not only people, but also diesel fuel and explosives. Here you see a drilling rig used for drilling 89 millimeter boreholes. The drilling depth can be up to 30 meters. Let us have a look inside the cabin. You can see how the rig operator is controlling the drilling process. The dashboard includes an onboard computer, which shows the borehole depth, sets the drilling angle, and helps to avoid errors and inaccuracies. The rig's rock drill is designed for high-speed drilling it can drill over 120 meters of boreholes in a standard shift of 10 and a half hours. This is a development drilling rig. It is used to drill holes in the face. The rig can drill 64 holes in four hours, each four meters deep. The drilling process is now fully automated and operators are well protected from harmful exposure to industrial dust and vibration. Now you can see a mine loader moving to the mined rock loading station. The rock is being loaded into the bucket. The bucket capacity is 4.5 cubic meters which allows it to haul eight tons of ore at a time. When the bucket is loaded, the loader hauls the rock to a special place, the ore pass. The rock falls through the ore pass onto the vibrating feeder, which is popularly known as Sibiryachka, or Siberian Girl, since it was Tashtagol District Ore Mines where it was first introduced and tested. You can see the process of loading the ore from the vibrating feeder into special mine shuttle cars. Such shuttle cars are used for underground ore transportation. One shuttle car can carry nine cubic meters of ore. Now you can see a train of shuttle cars moving from the ore loading station to the rotary car dumper bin where the cars will be emptied. Let us see how it works. The train is driving into the car dumper. The locomotive driver is operating the process. The car stops and unloading begins. The ore is then delivered from the dumper to the crusher, where it is broken into pieces and transported to the surface with a skip hoist. Now you can see the empty train coming back to the rock loading station for the next load of ore. In a single 24-hour cycle of continuous operation, 10,000 tons of ore can be lifted to the surface. This is what the crushing and benefication plant looks like where the mined ore is being processed. Eventually, the upgraded ore will be delivered to Evraz ZSMK, where it will be used in steel production.